Hey YouTube, uh, welcome back to the uh, channel, Explore Side. Thanks for watching. Again, if you haven't done so, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and like the video if you found this uh, informative. Today, we're gonna be doing a video on the first service on a KTM 390 Adventure. I currently have a 2022 KTM 390 Adventure motorcycle. I just rolled over a thousand kilometers up here in Canada. So uh, yeah, the first step in this procedure, it's pretty simple. You gotta get your oil, so a 1550 weight oil, and I recommend getting that at your local KTM dealership, and then make sure you also get a box of uh, filters. You can actually buy a KTM 390 service kit. So in this kit, it comes with everything you need. It comes with your drain plug with a fresh O-ring on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It comes with two strainers, a large strainer and a small strainer in here. A little guy, see, with a plug on the end, comes with an O-ring or your main filter right here. This is our main filter cartridge. Here we go, here's my oil, 15W50. I mean, I use the Motor X brand, that's KTM's brand or what you want, whatever you want to call it, but you can buy whatever you want. I'm still under warranty, so I ended up buying specific oils for this bike. And uh, one thing to keep in mind is, like I said, I'd recommend buying your service kit and your oils at your KTM, your local KTM dealership, so that you have the receipts, just in case you have a warranty claim down the road. That's the most important thing. I just scanned my receipts, so I have proof on what I've done. Anyways, tools you need for this job, pretty simple. I use uh, sockets, it's easier than wrenches. You need eight millimeter, an 18 mil, and a 13 mil, an Allen key to take off your guard, your bash plate, uh, needle nose pliers, and then, um, yeah, two screwdrivers. You'll see why I need that later on to try to pull that main filter out. That being said, the first step of this journey is here. Turn the ignition on. So you guys can see here, we're currently the 14th of May right now, 2023, and I just rolled over 1,081 kilometers, okay? So the first step in this procedure is to actually fire the bike up and get it up to operating temperature. A bike is to operating temperature, so typically I see like four bars on my thermostat, and that means I'm up to operating temp. So shut her down, and we will remove the batch plate. So I think it requires a 532nd Allen key. So we're gonna grab that. Uh, we're gonna start on these bolts on the bottom. last bolt here guys and just keep in mind that the exhaust is hot so you do want to really watch your hands on that bash plate because we've had it idling to get up to operating temperature and you just remove your nice cheap flimsy factory KTM bash plate that really doesn't protect anything but hey you got to remove it to get in there so now that we've done that you can have a look a few things to know this is actually our oil filter. So we're gonna remove both of these bolts here. And this is actually where your oil, oil filter cartridge goes into. And then we have our main drain plug here. So that's gonna have a big screen in it. I don't know if you can see that, right? That'll be our 18 mil. And then up in here where my finger is, there's actually another drain plug and that has the smaller strainer screen. Um, keep in mind that you might have to loosen the exhaust, the header pipe, and move it from side to side slightly. See, I did a resonator delete, so I don't have that resonator chamber in there. And in doing that, I had to adjust my header pipe. That's where the cats are. There's two bolts up at the top. You just have to loosen slightly. And you may have to move that header pipe over a few millimeter to get at that strainer bolt underneath the second one I showed you. But we'll see if that's the case this time or not. Okay, guys, let's get at it. So to make life a little easier and keep yourself clean, I recommend Kobe's, wear some coveralls, Gum boots, keep the oil off your feet, and then don't forget some latex gloves as well. I'm gonna slip those on right now to catch the old oil. I have my heat shield off. We're gonna slip our drain canister underneath, and uh, I guess let's see what comes out of it. Hopefully, oil. First oil 
total change of its life. And you'll see here, if you guys don't end up buying the, the complete service kit and just your oils, you'll have to reuse this plug and this O-ring. So make sure when you remove your plug, you inspect this O-ring to make sure it's not stripped or completely missing. Either way, this plug looks clean. I have a new one, so I'm just gonna replace it. It's cheap insurance, but I'll, I'll keep that as a spare. We're gonna drain this oil out. And then you'll see right in here, if you get in close, this is your first filter, your first strainer. So you wanna go in there with needle nose pliers and just kind of wiggle it out. There we go. And this is it here. So guys, this is what your strainer, your primary strainer should look like after your first thousand kilometers or 600 miles, your break in service. And you can see some filings on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's definitely some filings on there, so it's doing its job. And that's just part of the break in process. I wouldn't get too worried about it. Some people clean these, reuse them, and shove them back in there. Like I said, for what you pay for a full kit, just replace the filter for peace of mind, but it's up to you. Front plug, right? So there's, when you're changing the oil, essentially there's three plugs, right? So you got your main drain plug that we just pulled, then there's a front little plug, then obviously you got your filter cartridges on the other side. So we're gonna pull the little plug down. So this is a 13 mil. Remember, the exhaust is hot. So you're gonna come right up in here. Right in there, guys. Next to the catalytic converter. Oh, you're gonna crack that bad. Chances are with this plug, you may end up dropping it in your can, your container, but we'll see what happens. Maybe we can save it. Look, so there's your plug, your little plug with the strainer attached, guys. You see that? Same thing, a few filings on there, but really not that bad. Remember, this is its first service, right? So this is right after the break-in period. That's expected. Don't be alarmed with a little bit of metal on there. The strainers are doing their job. So now that we've got both those plugs draining right now and both those strainers out, now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna pull our main oil filter. This is your main filter. So again, for reference, this is an eight millimeter socket. And you're gonna just crack this bad boy loose. And then you can actually just fry it off with your hand and uh, do what I did. Drop it right in the oil slowly going to drain out. That's okay. Two bolts, end cap. I'm going to put them over here on my sheet, guys. You know what here? Keep it all organized. For two reasons. It's easier for you to put everything back together and you want to have picture proof as well. Like I said, if you're doing services yourself, document it, write it down, take photos for, for what it's worth. You might never need it, but if you do, you got proof. So just an update guys, uh, for whatever reason on this one, my idea of the two screwdrivers on either side of the filter didn't work well, because it's actually, it's on there pretty good, eh? Like the way it's seated. So I ended up grabbing a couple strong magnets and you can do whatever you want, but this is what I did. Two strong magnets, put it on the end, and now I can slowly pull that filter out like so. There we go. So this is the main oil filter, eh? So this is a filter that you want to just kind of look through slowly, make sure there's no obvious large pieces of shrapnel in there. You know, parts of your piston, your bottom end, etc. No, I'm just kidding. But you do want to have a look and make sure there's no large filings in there. You can see it's pretty full, but other than that, it looks good. So the magnet trick, that worked. Okay, so same thing. We're going to put that over on our pile. And then now, you want to tilt the bike back and forth. See how there's oil sitting in this cavity here? See that? Quite a bit of oil in there. 
We're gonna wanna tilt the bike this way and drain that oil out. And essentially that's it as far as the draining procedure goes, okay? Our new filter cartridge here. Look at that, nice and fresh, okay? Then we're gonna take this filter down in here and we're gonna just grab a little bit of oil and just lube up this seal here. I always put a little oil on here. So guys, full disclaimer, I'm not a uh, licensed mechanic, I'm a backyard mechanic. So, you know, this is just the advice that I'm giving to fellow riders. By no means is this exactly by the book, right? This is me following my service schedule in my manual. I'm doing everything that KTM wants to do. That's just my disclaimer. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, take it to a KTM dealer and have a certified mechanic do it. I'm just a backyard mechanic, but I've been working on dirt bikes and motorcycles most of my life. So, a little bit of oil on here just so that that seat can kind of find its way. So you can sit on that face. And then we're just gonna slide it in there. And you're gonna push it ever so gently and you're gonna feel it sit. It, it almost popped, okay? And then we're gonna grab our cover over here. And I'm gonna uh, probably replace the O-ring on this as well. So we're gonna clean that up. Okay, so. Take a flathead screwdriver here, pop out this old O-ring like so. Okay, and I'm gonna save this just in case one day I'm doing a service and I bugger up the new one, I have a spare, okay? Put this over my piece of paper. We're gonna slip the new one in there, make sure there's no debris in that channel that it wants to seat in. We're just gonna slip that on like that, and that's it, okay? Want to push it down like so, all the way around. Make sure there's no like you know twists or nothing in it. Okay. Then we're gonna put it on. We're gonna grab our little eight melts here, and you wanna you always wanna make sure you got a little bit of lube on that inner seat. So we're gonna grab a little bit of this oil. We're just gonna lube that up because this O-ring is gonna have to find its seat. I don't think it matters, but I mean, obviously oil filter, make sure that's at the top so you can read it. And then just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Okay, so yeah, it's a bit of a bugger to line this seal up when you guys put a brand new seal on it. So you gotta really make sure you kind of tease it on there left and right, left and right, and then and then snug it up. Um, so yeah, and just so you know, like the filter cap here, you wanna torque that down to, I believe 10 Newton meters. Um, I'll write that down in the description. I'll screenshot what the manual says, but I believe it's 10 Newton meters. No more, because this is going into aluminum, so you're gonna strip it out super easy. Okay, guys, we got the new filter in, caps on, things are torqued. Now, we're just basically doing the reverse on what we did in the beginning. Now we're gonna come back, and we're gonna replace the small strainer with a brand new one. Here we go, brand new strainer. It's got a little bit of uh, oil on there already, which is kind of nice. We're just gonna sneak up in here, up in the front, take our extension. Remember, we have an extension and a 13 mil socket. Place it in there, brand new strainer, brand new washer. And we're gonna try to tease it up in the hole without getting any crap on it. Basically is what you wanna do. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna try to sneak it right up in there, guys. Actually, another good thing to do too that I'm gonna do right now, make sure you clean that seat that it sits in. So, my exhaust is very close, but you wanna make sure that that seat, that that crush washer is gonna contact the aluminum, is whistle clean, okay? Look, we actually have the old O-ring right there, guys. You see that? That's the old O-ring that was just sitting in there. So all the more reason, I guess, to give it a really good visual inspection. Now that that seat is completely clean, I don't know if you can zoom in there and see that hole. Got it? Now we're gonna sneak in there, tease that washer in, and just hand tighten it here, just so it doesn't fall out. Right? No cross thread, nothing. It's 
screw plug here that we're working on right now, you want to torque down to 12 newton meters, I believe. And like I said, I'm going to double check all this stuff. Okay, so that's done. Torqued 12 newton meters. Now we are going to do the large screw filter. So this is actually the oil plug filter, I should say. We did a screw filter. This is the oil plug filter. We're going to put that in. And you want to kind of make sure that you put a little bit of oil on there as well. So I'm going to crack this jug here. We're going to put a little bit of oil on. Okay. So we have the new filter here. And I'm just going to put some fresh oil here just where it seats right here. So I'm just going to stick my finger in there and I'm just going to dribble some oil right on this O-ring here. See, there's an O-ring right here on the end of the plastic piece. I don't think you guys can see that or not. And I believe there's actually magnets in here as well. Like I think this is a magnet to uh, collect any steel and debris that you have in there. So just lube that up with fresh oil. Okay. And then we're gonna put this ahead of our drain plug. So right back in the hole here. We're gonna tease it all the way in there. And we should feel it seat. There we go. See, it just popped. That's in there. Okay. Gonna grab our new drain plug. Same thing, you don't have to do this, but I do. I'm gonna just put some new oil on this O-ring here, see? Okay, lube it all up. And then make sure your filter's centered and we're gonna throw that on there. Okay. There you go, guys. And we're gonna torque that up. 15 newton meters on that bad boy. And that's done. Once these are all torqued to spec, plop some new oil in there, we're gonna get all the screens in place, the filter in place, the plugs, everything's torqued back down to where they need to be within KTM spec. We are going to add oil. So what I do is you wanna get the bike as level as possible. So on this side, you can see here, every bike's gonna be different depending on what you have on the end of your kickstand. I've got the aftermarket adventure platform on the bottom. So I put it up on a two by four, the bike is damn near level. You gotta do the fill port here, the passenger side or right hand side of the bike. And then we're gonna throw in this funnel, like so. Every bike's gonna be different. And I think it takes just over a liter. I think it's 1.7 or something. So this is a liter, so it's gonna take one and a little bit of the other one. Um, and then down here is our sight glass. So you kind of want to get it until you can see it within the sight glass. We're going to run it for a few minutes, warm it up, let it settle, recheck it, top it off, and then we should be good. Okay, guys, so I uh, so it takes 1.7 liters um, of 15W50. Like I said, I use the Motorex stuff. That's KTM lubricant. I can see it here. It's halfway up the window. Perfect. That's what we want. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to put the cap back on and we're going to run it for a few minutes to fill the oil filter cavity and everything else. And once it's warmed up, we'll shut it off, recheck the oil, top it off. And then I will show you guys how to reset the service reminder. Okay. Start it up, run it for a few minutes, check for leaks. Ran the bike for a few minutes, I'd say about five minutes, back to operating temperature. I leveled it out again, and you can see here, you wanna be between the A and the B line, this notch and that notch, and we're right in the middle. Perfect, that's what you want. Okay, now that that's done, we've ran it, there's no leaks. We'll walk around, it's not leaking anymore, it's still level. All the oil that was on the exhaust is cleaned off and burned off now. But yeah, you wanna make sure, you know, like I said, run it for five, 10 minutes, get it hot, recheck your levels, make sure there's nothing dripping on the ground. Then we're good to go. Now that that's all done, I'll put the bash plate back on and I'll show you guys how to reset the service reminder. Okay guys, so now that we've done the oil change, I'm gonna show you how to reset your service reminder. So we're gonna turn the, the bike on. Side stand, and then you'll see as well, service. See the yellow service lights on right now, up there. And we're gonna go into settings. So I'm gonna hit set. I'm gonna go down to settings. 
all the way down to service and you will see that my next service is due 81 kilometers ago and I've just done the service. So I'm sitting at 1,081, my first 1,000 kilometer service is done. Now let's learn how to reset the service minder. I'm gonna go back to the home screen. I'm gonna hit set one time. Now I'm gonna scroll down to settings. I'm gonna hover over settings so it's highlighted. Now I'm gonna press and hold both these buttons at the same time. Now it's taking me into the next service menu. The next service is due. I'm gonna hit set to set my next service. And it goes up, I think, in 500 increments. So let's have a look. 500, 1,000, 1,500, etc. And I'm gonna build it all the way up until 7,500 because my next service is gonna be in 7,500 kilometers or 4,650 miles. Done. So I've hit 7,500 kilometers. Um, and then now I believe you're gonna press and hold the set button. So I'm gonna press and hold the set button. Done. So I've reset the service minder. So now when I go back into settings, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna go into settings. Down here to service and it should be reset now. 7,500 kilometers. When that appears, I'm ready for my second service. Well guys, this concludes uh, the video of the first thousand kilometer service on a KTM 390 adventure bike. Um, I didn't find a ton of information on the internet. That's why I decided to make this video. Once again, if you want to do the service yourself, I think that's totally cool. Just make sure you save all your receipts, take some photos of your filters that you pulled out just in case you do have a warranty claim down the road. And I do strongly advise if you're not mechanically inclined, just take it into the dealership and get them to do it for peace of mind. However, if you are somewhat mechanically inclined, not a big deal to do yourself, honestly couple screens, one filter, retorque the bolts, put some new oil in, done deal. Hopefully this video helps. Until next time guys, ride safe. Thanks for watching.